Hey guys, Kyle here with Better the Berg, and we are continuing our tour. Um, I'm, we're doing this to introduce you to important places around Pittsburgh, to organizations that that, that you need to know about that um, that do good things around town here. So today I am at the Cancer Caring Center in in Bloomfield, mm -hmm. and this is a great place that I want you to know about. I am here with Stephanie. Galetti. Yep, yep. And <laughs> I'm getting names right. Hello. And, and, and Jennifer Tomko. Kem. Kem. Yeah. Ah, gosh, my maiden name. So close. You're good. So close. I think I you're connected okay. on Facebook. It might be there. Yeah, Maybe I'm not is. messing it up too you're bad. Right, you're but but th ladies, thanks for having me here. Thank you so much for, for visiting coming. us. Yeah. yeah, and sharing us today. Sure, you bet. Um, so, so um, tell people about the Cancer Caring Center because I don't know if everybody knows about it. And if uh, whether they do or don't, um, what should they know about it, I guess? Well, we'd love to tell you about the, the Cancer Caring Center is a 30-year-old or 31-year-old uh, social service center where mm -hmm. we help all types of cancer patients. Uh, we have a lot, a lot of different programs. We have 29 different support groups a month. Yeah. Uh, we have for, to serve all different types of cancer, including metastatic. We have one-on-one um, uh, -on -one therapy that is held at the, the Bloomfield Center, which okay. is free. Uh, all the support groups are free. The one-on-one -on -one therapy is free. Uh, we also have... Um, a lot of wellness programs. We have right. art therapy, we have nutrition counseling, we have uh, Reiki, yoga, um, I'm sure I'm forgetting something, wow. uh -huh. uh, but again that's all free and then um, we have a, a food bank, which an insure food bank, which we give uh, case of, cases of insure to patients okay. that are uh, in need. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And we're the only local organization that gives free cases of insure for cancer patients. Okay. So and that, that's big with cancer patients huge. too, right? And yeah. so for some it's life or death situation sure. and so it's just critical that people know that that's available also here. Right. Um, the free counseling is provided by a licensed clinical social worker. Mm -hmm. um, all of our services are professionally yeah. led, um, right. but she offers the individual therapy both over the phone and in our office in case those who um, can't come to Bloomfield, which we understand. Sure. Um, or and there are, are other locations in, in the area where, where there's ther therapy going on? Uh, there, no, no, that's why she offers it over the phone. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Um, okay. In addition, um, I lead a young adult cancer support program. Right. Um, this is for all types of cancers um, for ages 18 to 39. Okay. Give or take. Right, uh, the right. window's gray there. Um, but uh, they have to be at least 18 mm -hmm. um, when they're diagnosed. and. I lead support groups. Um, I take the groups out and for a social activity once a month. Okay. So they get the, both the emotional support, the social support, and also a small financial assistance stipend okay. that they can apply for. So mm -hmm. um, we offer a myriad of services um, yeah. and we continue to evolve and expand where there's a need in the community. So we are just so passionate to help those local to sure. us um, because as we know, cancer is only continuing to grow right um, it's not right. going anywhere so yeah. neither are we good very good very yeah. good and, and, and uh, all services here are, are, are free of charge all correct free. Yep. yeah yep. yeah and we also uh like we talked about we uh, offer these for the caregiver as well okay. so not just for exactly. the patient sure. because it's, it, it, it is extremely difficult for the family and loved one a, a lot of people well. are connected to to the person who's most right. directly going through Yeah, it. I mean, yeah. sometimes it's harder for the caregiver, believe it or not. But mm -hmm. uh, you have mm -hmm. to take care of yourself so you can take care of others, sure. you know, as we say. And I think it's also important to note that our services are for anyone who's a patient at any hospital system. So okay. we work with everyone, literally. Very so good. no matter where we have programs, and specifically support groups um, spread out across Allegheny County, yes. okay. it does not matter where you're a patient. You can come to mm -hmm. any of the groups. Um, and, and what's... Um, What's a typical foot in the door? Like, how, how does somebody a, a end up here or find out mm -hmm. about um, what you guys have going on? Many patients call, okay. the, uh, just call the center, and then, they, you know, a lot of times they'll talk to Stephanie and she can recommend what would be beneficial for them okay. and, and, you know, try to get them set up on a course for uh, feeling better and doing better. Yeah, sure. we have a telephone helpline. So between myself and Wendy Myers, who's our licensed clinical social worker here, uh -huh. we really take the time and do an initial assessment, kind of gotcha. get their stories, figure out where they might be best um, mm -hmm. for which programs are offered. Yeah. Um, and then they, we, they can then learn about all of our services and decide, you know, what their interests might be. Mm -hmm. um, we also will do resource referrals um, mm -hmm. because we don't, we don't do everything here, but we certainly yeah. do our best. But we will certainly take the time and 
and make sure that they are given all the information that they may need in addition to what we may offer. Okay. Um, but honestly, a lot of the hospital systems refer patients to us. Um, word of mouth is, is huge right now. Right. Um, social media helps nowadays. Like, so thank and you for what you guys this. are doing. So seriously, guys, if, you, if, if this is new to you or, yeah. or not, but you know somebody who, who, who might who might benefit from the services here, please please share with them. And, and, please and, share it, yeah. yeah. You all can help raise the awareness and spread the word because someone out there needs us and they wouldn't know that we exist unless they need us and they wouldn't know about us unless you share it. So it's really critical. We beg you to just share this if you need us or know someone who might. We really appreciate that. And our website is uh, just cancercaring.org okay. and our phone number is simple. It's 412-622-1212. Very good. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yeah, well, if, also, if anybody yeah. would, is interested in donating um, in the yeah. name of a you know a survivor or someone that they mm -hmm. want to remember, um, you know, we we are fully self funded. We have uh -huh. no national organization or mm -hmm. you know whatever uh, we you know what whatever funding comes sure. from just what we are able to do here. So mm -hmm. we appreciate anybody's support. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah, guys. So if if you've been touched by cancer and, and who hasn't been and, and you're and you're able to help. Um, just the, the emotional support that people need. Uh, this is a great place to connect with, I think. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks, Kyle. You bet. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This is Better the Berg. We're here at the Cancer Caring Center in Bloomfield in Pittsburgh. Um, please check it out. Please check out their services. And uh, if you need to participate, if you can help, please do that too. Thank All you right. so much. We'll see you. Bye. Thanks.